triangle ABC below is equilateral. The arc is centered at point C and is tangent to AB. If AB equals 6, then what is the total area of the shaded region? Now, that centered at point C part basically means that if you finish this arc into a full circle, and then point C is the center of that circle. And well, tangent, sometimes called tangent C, means that two shapes or two lines only touch at one point. For example, like if you have two circles, these two circles are tangent, they only touch at one point. But if these two circles are overlapping, then they're no longer tangent, right? They're touching at two points, which means, well, basically means that there's a lot less trouble because if you want to define the region of these, well then you probably won't be smiling like that if you had to. So that helps us a lot there. Now to actually find this, well, we can't exactly find that little shaded region in there because we, we don't have a formula, but what we do have is when you have like a shape that you don't have a formula for and you want to find the area of it, you can express it in terms of pieces that you do know, like either thinking outside the box or just cutting it up into pieces that you don't know, but that, that you do know. Now we definitely can't cut this already weird shape up into even weirder shapes. So what we can see here is that these two shaded regions, well, they're part of triangle A, triangle ABC, that unshaded region, which is basically just a sector of the whole circle. So that kind of gives us a plan, right? We have our big triangle down here, and then we subtract off the area of that sector, then we should get that little shaded region down there, which looks kind of like, kind of like that. Shade these in really quick. Boop. So now, well, in this triangle, I'll find that, I'll find that first, well, base times height, we can see that because our entire base is AB, well, drawing our height, we see that that splits us into, uh, that gives us actually two 30, 60, 90 triangles, each with a short leg of three, right? Just take six and divide that into two. Now, a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the rule for that is, well, um, the short leg is half the hypotenuse, and here, our height, our long leg is always our short leg times root three, which means our entire triangle up here, well that's six times three root three, base times height, and then you divide by two. Now you subtract off that sector there. Now that sector, well because C is the center of that circle, and because angle C here is part of an equilateral triangle, that means, uh, I'll, I'll just write it out here, because angle C is 60 degrees, then that means there's six of these identical sectors in the whole circle. So now that gives us a little, a little less pain, because now, because now what we see is our height of the triangle that we just figured out here, well that's the radius of the circle, right? Because C is the center, and C is where we're taking that length, uh, that, oh, what is it, our height, and then extending that down to the bottom of the triangle. Which means that we can take, what is it, uh, our radius, 3 root 3, and then use pi r squared, take this, square that, and then multiply by pi, and well here we have three squared is nine, times root three squared, which is three, and times pi, that's just 27 over pi. Now if this is the area of our whole big pizza over here, well then one sector, or one slice of that pizza, has to be 27 pi 
over six, since again, uh, there are six of these sectors in one circle. And this is just our answer over here. Now, simplifying this a little bit, I was going to take out a three. And here we have three times root three is nine root three minus nine over two times pi. And this is a little answer right back there.